Well, Nick, um, it's been a while, man. It has been a while since we've seen you uh, in this sort of setting. You know, fight week, six years. How are you? Uh, how are you feeling? A few days out from fighting Robbie Lawler and walking back into that octagon. Uh, I feel pretty good today, actually. Yeah. So um, that's good. I hope I feel as good as you know fighting days I do today. What does it mean to feel good right now? I just feel like ready to fight. So. And and what does that mean? Like a, like more of like a physical sense or a mental sense? Both. Or like both. How do you know? Like how how are you able to like? Judge I, I just threw a bunch of punches in front of a camera, so <laughs> I can tell that I feel pretty good. I'm hitting hard and and I could I could definitely do a five round fight right now. Does it does it feel um is there is this the only way you can feel like you're about to get into a fight? Can you replicate this in a gym or anywhere or like what you're feeling now you haven't felt in 6 years since you fought Anderson Silva? Is this like a completely different thing that you can't replicate anywhere? Um, you know, I don't know. I'm only, I, I feel, I feel a lot different now than, you know, than I used to. I got, some days I feel great. Some days I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm, some days I'm not all with it. Mm-hmm. But, um, what did you mean? Sorry. Well, just like, you know, you say, you say, I feel like I'm ready for a fight. Like, what does that even feel like now? You know, six years away, like how, how what does it feel like to, I mean, I'm sure you've you've been in the gym, you've thrown punches, you know, you've trained. Like, but is it a completely different thing that you're trying to get ready for right now in your mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's different. I haven't fought for a long time, so it's different. Before it was, I really I really had my head together, and, for, and I have di- You know what it is? I just have different trainers now, mm-hmm. and um, and I, I've I've always had my own gym with a with a bunch of guys. I still have my guys and my people and my lineage of fighters and stuff and where I come from, but it's just different because I, you know, I didn't really have my own students and my, you know, I was just kind of bouncing around and absorbing a lot of negative energy and, you know, just got kind of caught up in like, where do I want to go and what do I want to do? And I don't know. I still don't know. So that's the hard part, but it doesn't stop me from being able to fight really well. It does really give me a lot of stress and make me feel like I don't know where I'm going to wind up. And, you know, uh, as far as, you know, after this fight or, you know, it, it's, it's hard to make, for me to make plans. Everybody's always like, what do you, what do you want to do? I'm like, I don't know. So that's kind of the hard, hard part. Do you feel like you're under stress this week? Um, since I've had this fight coming up, I've been under a lot of stress, yeah. Yeah, it has not been an easygoing training camp. Because I haven't fought for a long time, for one, and then for two, you know, things just didn't go my way. Um, watching my brother fight was hard. That was a hard. That was really hard for me to do. Um, I didn't expect it to be like that, and I didn't expect to. I wasn't really ready to 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 leave what I was doing at the time, and it just kind of it really it really kind of made me look at things differently um, after that. So I'm a lot different now than, than I was before I saw that fight. Why? What, what, was, what was it about that fight? Just, you know, timing. Timing was, was the wrong time for me to, to be in there watching that and then being all up in the mix like that real quick, you know. Um, having me taken back, I, I wouldn't even have gone. I would have, I would have stayed, stayed away and, and focused on myself. Hmm. But I didn't know any better. I was just, you know, trying. To, I was doing what I always did. So, I, you know, and then going back in there with my brother, um, I just put my head right back in it, and I was like, oh wow, you know. And that, so that was a lot. Of, it was just a lot for me to deal with. What What is the part that's most stressful? Is it just the attention or the obligations? Like you got to do interviews, or is it the fight itself? Like. The fear of, of it, or not. I mean, what what is like what is the most stressful element of it that you're dealing with? Oh, of me fighting, or yeah. Well, since 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 you watched Nate and everything that he went through that week, it was hard, man. I watched him get sewed up, and I was just, you know, it was timing. 
I was stressed out about a lot of other things, and then I watched that, and I was like, wow. It, you know, it took a lot out of me. I, 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 you know, either it, it, that, you know, it, it was good for me too, you know, but it's just, it's, it, there was things that were good about it, you know, for me to be there, and then there's things that weren't good. Um, but it's just a lot to deal with, you know. Being away for five years and coming back and seeing that, that was that was really something new, you know. It really kind of knocked it. It really kind of knocked knocked my block off, you know. Like it, I took harder punches watching that than I ever did in sparring or in any fights. Um, it's just my it's my brother. It's my baby brother, you know. It's hard to watch him fight. Do you feel like, um, man, we know that you can fight. You have been fighting your entire life. We've watched you fight over and over and over again. We know that, that once you're in there, you can do it. But do you feel like, do you, do you like the mindset that you're going into? Like, or do you feel like you're in a mindset a space to walk into that octagon and do what you need to do no, on Saturday? But I never, no, but I never do. I, I, never, I never do, yeah. I, I never do. Especially not now, but I never, I never did. I never did. I never enjoyed fighting. It's just something that I do. Why do you, why do you have to do it right now? Why come back and do this now? Why are you here this week? It's just what I do, you know. That's just it's just what I do. I try to I try to get away from it, but really, it's just it's kind of inevitable. Why do you Why do you think it's inevitable? It just it it is it, it is all the people around me and all the money and the sponsors and all that they won't let me get away from fighting, you know. They they just there's a lot, you know, there's things I could do, but that's not going to work out, you know. I might as well just go and, and take my punches and, or, you know, I might as well just, you know, I don't want to look back and, and say, why did I not just do it, you know, because mm -hmm. even though I don't feel, I don't feel great, I feel great, great to fight, I don't feel great about everything and, but I, if I don't do this, then I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know how, how I'm going to feel about myself if I don't, you know, two years down the road, if I'm, if I'm sitting here going, like, why didn't I just go and do these five to the one? Yeah. Is there any part of it that you're able to enjoy? I mean, clearly no, it's... No, no. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. This is not an enjoy... This, is, this whole thing is for, for everybody else. I'm... I'm glad to, you know to that the fans are happy and that they love it and that's just what gets them going, you know. But like, it it got me going when I was a kid. Five months in, I was like, oh yeah, in five months, man, I'm gonna be good, and I was good. And then I'm like, after I do, you know, after I make like five and zero, oh, I'm gonna be so good, and I didn't even make it to five and zero. Oh. <laughs> so then I had to go back for more, and it just. After that, it was just no way out. That's why, you know, uh, you know, I, I see the kids, you know, and I'm like, I, I try to tell them, you know, hey, like, you know, are you sure you want to do this, kid? <laughs> you know, so I, I like to teach and train and, and be a part of the, the sport, but, um, you know, I got a few fights left, and um, if I can survive that and, and um, you know, keep the ball rolling a little bit and I, I should do it I'll probably it, it's probably a better a better option than not than not fighting are you able to take some satisfaction though Nick that that you you were born into the life that you were born and, and you know your childhood went the way it did and, and school went the way it did and you have uh, I mean you're you're the biggest fight on the card on Saturday you know a lot of people are going to be excited you're you're, you're going to be on ESPN like you have an opportunity to make a lot of good money, and, and and like you just said, kids look up to you. Like, do you take satisfaction in that? Can are you in, are you able to enjoy that your career has done that? Yeah, sure. That's that's great. I mean, yeah, I, I know that there's. I've, I know that I've contributed to a lot of the. You know. A lot of uh, what this sport is. You know, it, it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't do anything for me, though, you know. When did that stop, do you think? Well, it never, it never started. I, I fight, and then everybody benefits, and I don't. I get paid to fight, and then I fight, and I, I don't enjoy fighting. I don't, you know, I have to 
concentrate on the fight to be the best fighter. And then, you know, I'm supposed to do all this other stuff that the other fighters do. And then I'm being, it's like I'm being punished for not doing, for not being a regular human being or a regular person. And then, and then, um, you know, I, I, I'm like, well, hey, how come you guys didn't work as hard as I did? You know, like, how come you guys didn't train every day and do everything that I did? You know, um, I did, I did full distance triathlons. I did seven, seven rounds. I do seven rounds on the, I mean, you know, 18 rounds a day plus jujitsu wrestling six days a week, my whole career. Then I finally stopped and I met all these important people and I moved around. You can call it a party, but I wasn't, I was partaking in like what was going on. I was trying to, you know, and then all these people are like, you know, they're, 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 they're here for you or they're not here for you. You know what I mean? You don't really know. They're just kind of like, ah, you know. It, 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 it. And then now it's like I'm being kind of punished in a way, like for, for how hard I went, like on all, on all these guys because they didn't, you know, because they, they went to school and they didn't. I'm like, so, well, that's what you get. I was a fighter from the start. I mean, sorry you didn't get into it. Maybe you shouldn't have started fighting. And then I, you know, so in, in a way, I'm, I really, you know, I have a lot of resentment towards the sport for, um, taken so much from me but not you know giving anything back you know like this is great you know they're promoting this fight I didn't expect to be the main event or anything like that or like um but you know like like John, like John McCarthy says you know being a fighter is a hard life I you know I take it like a man I'm like you know I'm going in there I'm going in there to win do I feel confident? I never do. I never have. I've always felt like I'm gonna I'm gonna get trashed out there. Like I, every fight I've ever done. So, oh, how do you feel against Robbie Lawler? How do you feel? I feel like I'm gonna get the beat out of me. And even when I win, I get beat up worse. So, I've heard you say that you're the best fighter in the world, though, and you uh, feel yeah, like it's yeah, genuine yeah, and you truly believe that. Y- yes, I think so. I, I do believe that. I do believe that, but. Um, Given the circum, you know, if I, I mean, wh- what do you have, Usman? I think I'll beat Usman. I had a better shot at beating Usman than I do Lawler, just because the moral, at, the you know, because I already beat Lawler. This is, this doesn't make sense for me to go in there and fight Robbie Lawler again. I don't know why this, why I'm doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this. This should not happen. Whoever set this up is an idiot. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know why this happened. I should be fighting Kamar Usman, and that's it. You know, mm-hmm. and I don't want to fight the guys my brother just fought. My brother fights it the same weight as me, so it's kind of like, it's kind of tough, you know, because I don't want to get in his way, and he gets in my way, and then I get in his way, and I'm like, yo, bro, like, what, you know, I'm like, yeah, take the whole damn thing, please, because that, that's what I wanted for you, was to be okay, you know, so I, I, I really sacrificed myself for him, uh, and now I'm in, you know, and and I'm like, okay, well, whew, you know, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to fight Robbie Lawler again. When he doesn't get, he don't deserve to get his ass whooped. And I know I'm going to beat the out of him, and I don't want to. And, um, and if I lose, I don't want to lose to Robbie Lawler. I already beat him. So, you know. That's, that's, that sucks. You feel like there's still time to, to change this when you say that I have given so much to this sport and I haven't gotten it back? Do you feel like, I mean, with the sport with where it is, it makes a lot of money, it's very popular now. Like, like there's, you're 38 years old, you think there's still time where you can fight Kamara Usman, you I, can fight those yeah, big yeah, fights it's hard. Get paid. I didn't expect to feel the way I do at 38. I didn't expect for things to come flying at me like they did as soon as this, um, the idea of me fighting even came into play. Everything just rushed me. Um, you know, and before it, everything just kind of rushed on in on me. I was busy trying to help people. That was never good. I should have been trying to help myself. I've always tried to help people, and it was a bad idea. I like to think it was a good idea. But really, like, I was in no position to help people. I should have been helping myself. And um, and I did, I did. I did. I did everything right. I did everything right. It's just, you know. Um, being 38, you know, things came really quick, you know, and this fight is taking a lot more out of me, 
not not getting hit, not training hard, just you know just leading up like the way that people um there was things I needed, you know, like and and people held it over my head, you know, cuz they wanted me to call them or they wanted me to to do these things like that normal people do and I I just expected it to go how I did when I was younger and it didn't and and I and I can't blame anybody really. It's it's my fault for for um making those few wrong turns that I did. But I mean, how I feel today is great. If 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 the fight is if I feel to today how um on fight day, like how I do today, I'm going to we're going to see um I'm going to I'm going to do really well, but you know, I really to be honest with you, I really don't want to do this. Um but I that's how I feel every fight. I'm always walking out there like, why am I doing this? So does that does that um that feeling does that run all the way up through the locker room and then the walkout? Like literally when you're walking out, like and fans are cheering your name and your music is playing. Like what 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 is that? What's going to be running through your head? Why am I why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? You know, I'm doing this for everybody that's telling me to do it. I'm not doing it for myself. I don't, I don't know. But I don't know what else. I am doing it for myself. I don't know what else to do for myself. So I'm just going to go do what I do. This is what I do. You know, but yeah. But the way it feels is like, why am I doing this? You know? Just a few more, man. I mean, over the last six years, did you ever find anything that you were like, this is what I'll do? You know, that I'm content without fighting. This is, this is where Nick Diaz will, will go with his life. Uh, yeah, I wanted to, to start a school and teach some of the week and then move around and have a really nice time. And that was, should have worked out. Um, but, you know, I had a few people kind of sc screw me around. And then, then I realized, like, I don't, I don't, I don't really have that many, that many real friends. And I said, man, I'm really, like, I'm in big trouble now. So um, here we, that's all with all the fighters, same thing with a lot of them. Um, but I had a really good game plan. I was going to open a gym, and then I realized, like, that was a fake. That was, that was kind of, like, the people I was in business with were, like, kind of, like, just putting that in place for me to get worked up over, and it was never going to work out. And then they could blame it on me, but I'm like, wow, look it. You put it that it should have happened. It was ready to go, then it didn't work out. So, um, but, you know, it's... I just got to cut my losses and, and do this fight. I don't, that's just how it is. You know, I'm still alive. And um, I'm a lot staying more of a dangerous fighter than I was when I started, especially considering. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to put on a good show for you. Nick, I want you to just answer one last thing and then this interview will be done. Um, there are going to be fans who, who see you and hear some of the things that you don't really want to do this and they're going to, uh, they care about you. You know, that, what do you want to tell them? They, they, uh, thank you so much. You know, um, I love you. You know, I like to say I love everyone and I love everything, but then I realize that that's not, that's not, I don't. And that's not good. You know, it's just like a figure of speech. Like, a, you know, I, I love to help people and I love to be, you know, a part of the sport. But I, I don't, I don't love what it's, what it's done to me. And um, especially in the last seven months, the last two years. So, um, so yeah, I got a shot to, at, 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 um, at dragging some of this back. So I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, well, I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling some of those, those feelings this week, but yeah, you've got a big fight, yeah. and, and like you said, you that, got... Uh, hey, I feel like that every fight. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I'm kind of a dark and dim person leading up to a fight because I, I just despise these people who are are happy to go out. I always tell, say the same thing. I don't yeah. know if you remember. I, like, yeah. I can't... I'm like, oh, you're so happy, and like, oh, this is going to go... Like, you know, you don't have a doubt in your mind you're going to lose. Yeah. Like, that's... You're, you're so full of... You know, it's, it's fake. Mm hmm um, and if it's not fake, it's like you're really, you must be crazy because, of course, anything can happen out there. No, man, I appreciate it. I think this is why people connect with you, that you're very real, especially in the week of leading up to a fight. I think for a lot of people, it's not a fun thing. It's, it's a very uh, internal thing, and you're able to, to talk about it on camera. So I appreciate it, Nick. Yeah. We're looking forward to the fight. I wish you the very best in it. Okay.
Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Brett. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.